I wanted to create this uh, small tutorial uh, for people that are looking to add Weapon Sway to their game. So, what Weapon Sway does is when you look around, your weapon or your arms will take a little bit of time be before they catch up to where you are looking at. So, it's like they, th yeah, there's like a delay in it, which adds um, a lot more realism. Uh, because if you don't use this, then you get something like uh, like this. And what this is, is like your weapon or your arms seem to be pasted onto your camera. Which is not very realistic and looks kind of uh, strange. So yeah, if you want to add some more realism, you will want weapon sway. Now, the way we're going to do this is, uh, like you see here, um, so yeah, you will be able to set a value, which is our sway speed, and if you increase this to, let's say, um, 100, then it's going to be very fast and subtle, and you can barely actually see that there is weapon sway. But if you set it to something very low, like 1, then you will see that it's very slow, like this. So yeah. That's what we're going to create today, or I'm going to show you how to do. All right. Okay, so to start off, um, to add our weapon sway, um, what we need is we need obviously a project with a first person character. Um, so basically, if you go ahead and create a new project, um, you can just select the first person template, which is uh, definitely what you need. So, when you create a new project, just make sure that you have this selected so that you have the first person blueprint uh, pre installed in your project. So, <coughs> uh, when your project is launched, you will have to go to your first uh, person BP folder, then you go to your blueprints folder, and then you open up first person character which is this thing right here. Alright, so as you can see, when I go in game now, there is n no, no weapon sway. My uh, weapon seems to be pasted on to my camera. So no matter how fast I move the camera, <coughs> the weapon does not uh, take some time to catch up to where we are looking at, which is actually what we want. So, in order to do that, we go to our first person character blueprint, <coughs> and you will see all kinds of um, predefined uh, stuff in here that, you know, stuff like what happens when you jump, what happens when you fire to spawn a projectile, and in between all these things, you will see mouse inputs. This is what it looks like. It's basically a um, an input um, which gives either a 1 or a minus 1 if the mouse is turned to the left or to the right. Same goes for looking up, uh, which is also a value between minus 1 and plus 1. <coughs> and then it adds this input to our um, to our controller. We need this to add um, our sway to our weapon. So we're gonna drag this down so that we have it nice and clean. Okay, and the first thing we wanna do, the way this works is um, the sway is actually it, cons it consists out of two parts and the first part is we are going to add an offset every time uh, this value is either, um, yeah, every time this value is um, either below zero or above zero, whenever it's not zero, basically. Uh, what you want to do with that is whenever it's not zero, you want to add an offset to your weapon. So what this means is when you turn left, you want to set a right offset, and when you turn right, you want to set a left offset. Uh, so that's the first thing we'll have to do. And then after that, what we need to do is we need to 
um, bring the weapon back to where it should be which is basically where your camera is pointing at um, so like for example right now it's at the exact position your camera is at and what you want to do in the second part here is make sure that it always goes back to that position um, so in order to do that first what we need to do is we need to drag um, this out and we want to find the set relative rotation set actor no we don't want to set uh, no we want to just set relative rotation and <coughs> what you want to do is you want to select your FB gun which is this All right. because this is what you want to set the offset for you want the gun mesh which is basically ah no we, we actually want uh, mesh 2p uh, my bad but what you can do is you can just remove this node then you can select it here drag it in here and then just um, connect this up to the target because that's the target is what you want to set the relative rotation for and now what you want to do is we're going to drag this out a little bit we're going to need this and what we need from this is we need the relative rotation so get relative rotation that's what we want now we're going to break this up so we want to break the rotator so we get our x y and z value because we only want to change the z value we don't want it when we turn around that it goes up or down no we only want z value so we're also going to spawn and make a rotator which is this right and we can already connect uh, up the x and the y values like this and now what we want to do so we want to drag out the Z component and we want to subtract that with whatever this value is going to be. What this means is when you turn right, for example, this value will probably be um, like, uh, depending on how fast you turn, it will be either between 0 or 1. So it will be 0 0.5, for example. And what we want to do is <coughs> we want to subtract that from the z value we got from our brick rotator. And then we want to save that value into a um, something that we w into a variable which we will now create. Uh, make sure it's a float. We're gonna make sure it's a float. Then we're going to call this saved offset because this is the offset that we want from our rotator we have to save this because we are going to use this later on so what you want to do is you want to drag out this ver uh, variable onto the grid then you will to select set and you want to make sure that this is connected to this and this to this so you want to do this first before you s actually set the rotation and now we're just going to save this right in here All right. and then what we want to do is we want to use this value to put it into our new rotator that we are going to create with our make rotator and then this return value needs to go into our new rotation so basically if you if we've done this right now every time we look around the weapon should go like it should go depending on how fast you're moving it should kind of stay at the uh, position it was basically so that's good that's good that's what we need now the next part, just going to comment this, and call this uh, add offset, right? <coughs> now the second part that we need to do is we need to drag this out and once again set a new relative rotation for our mesh 2p, which is again our model of our arms okay so the first thing we want to do now is uh, yeah, we, we want to actually copy this because we're going to need it a couple of times so just um, copy that one so the way you do that is just selecting a node pressing ctrl c and then ctrl v it somewhere and you will get a copy of it 
Now what we want to do is we want to get the relative rotation again, all right, and then the way we're going to do this is every time you look around, the the arms will get an offset, either to left or to right. But then what we want to do is um, we want to bring it back to the position, to the rotation that your actual first person camera has. So basically when you're looking somewhere, it will slowly rotate to that same position we're looking at so that it so that the arms once again match up with um, the rotation of your camera. And now the way we want to do this is by using an R interp interp2 node. Now what this does is this is an interpolation between two rotations. Uh, so the starting location will be our current location which is going to be the rotation our um, arms are going to be in at any given moment. <coughs> now what you want to do is we want to break this as well. So we're going to break that up again. And we can already plug this in because this is going to be our final, this is going to calculate our final um, well, not really our final, but our um, interpolated steps of moving to the rotation that it needs to be. So we can already connect this, t uh, this up. All right. <coughs> now, from this from this brake rotator, we are going to make once again a new rotator. So we just spawn in a make rotator again. And we can already connect up the X and the Y because these are not going to change. These are always going to stay the same. Now what we want is we want another brake rotator. And from this we're going to extract the Z value because that's what we want to calculate actually. That's, that's actually the value that's going to change. The X and Y are always going to be the same. And we can already connect this up right here so that's going to be our target but now to get our um, vector here s so to uh, get our z value basically is what we want to do is we want to get the first person camera we want to drag it in here and we want to get our rotation um, yeah get relative rotation right here okay and we want to put this in here and what this is going to do is it's going to look up the Z value for the rotation of our camera and then it's going to create a new target rotation for our mesh to go to which is what this does now what we want this to do is we want this to change every tick now or every second the way we do this is by um, by first getting the rotational vector the rotation vector get um, yeah get rotation x vector that's what we want all right and then we want to get the same thing from this we want to get the rotation x vector right here and then we want to subtract these two values. Now we want to subtract a vector from a vector right here. Now what this does basically is it will look at the amount uh, of difference between these two angles. So basically your mesh will have an angle and your first person camera will have an angle. Now what this will do is it, it will look how big the difference is between these two angles and this is what will come out of this and we want to normalize this we want to normalize this so that you get a value between um, 0 and 1 and then uh, what you want to do is you want to get the length so that we get a um, that we get a float value and this float value is actually going to um, to decide w at what speed the um, 
the mesh is going to rotate back to the position that it should be in. And why is this important? Because when you are turning fast, you want you want the arms to catch up fast when they start out to rotate to their position that they should be in, but as they come closer to their final position, you want them to like smooth in, like go a little bit slower and slower and slower until they've reached their final um, rotation. You don't want them to always go at the same speed because that would look pretty strange. So this is what we do right here and we're going to multiply that uh, so basically you want to multiply float by float by a new value that we're going to create here which is going to be our sway speed we drag this in and we connect it up here and now what we want to do is we want to connect this up to our speed and we also still need our delta time which is what we're going to find from our tick and our tick should be nowhere so we're going to spawn that in <coughs> so you just uh, search for event tick and then you bring that in and then you want the delta seconds so basically you plug that right in here you could of course also just save this value to a new variable and then just use that variable here which would actually be better but for now this will do so yeah um, this should be it I think if we've done this right then we should now have our weapon sway so let's check that out um, oh yeah sure of course um, the value right now is set to zero and we want this to be for example 25 I think if we test this now you will see that you have a weapon sway. There you go. Now all you all you need to do in order to make it faster or slower is just change this value to let's say 70 maybe. That will be that will make it a little bit faster. So now it's very subtle. But if you change it to something like 1, then it will be very very slow. Like now it will take a while for the gun to catch up which <laughs> which is kind of unrealistic but I don't know maybe you want this so yeah that's it for this tutorial um, I hope this helped you and yeah see you next time thanks